Disneyland is raising its ticket prices again, and this is nothing new, but let's break down just what it means for us as guests. So a single day, single park ticket is going up to $104 on a non-peak day, with a peak visit costing $149. If you want to park hop between Disneyland and Disney California Adventure, you'll shell out $154 on a non-peak day and $199 on a peak day. The annual pass prices jump up even more. The entry-level pass, the SoCal Select, now costs $399. The Deluxe Pass now costs $799. The Signature Pass, which is the cheapest pass that comes with parking included, has increased to $11.49, and then the Signature Plus Pass, which has parking, um, as well as Disney's Max Pass service and no blackout dates, costs $13.99. Finally, the Premier Pass, which has all the same features as Signature Plus and includes Walt Disney World access, will cost you a whopping $1,949, almost $2,000 for that pass. Another note about annual passes, starting in June, there will be separate blockout dates for each park. So some passes will allow you to get into Disney California Adventure, but not Disneyland. Given those prices, is this just Disney looking to rake in even more money? I don't think so, at least not totally. As a pass holder who does visit the parks at least once a month, let's break down why I think Disney is still fulfilling their part of the bargain with providing value for that increase that you're going to pay. One, there are a lot of new experiences coming to the park. The latest increase does come right before the opening of the new Star Wars Galaxy's Edge and Marvel Land areas, which are anticipated to bring unprecedented crowds to the park. Two, there are major infrastructure improvements to the current experience that's going on. Outside of the parks, Disney is hard at work at improving the downtown Disney shopping and dining district, hotel amenities, and they're building a new parking structure to house the anticipated increase in the cars that are going to be visiting the parks. And inside both parks, they are widening paths, adding benches, and removing planters to try to increase the foot traffic to spaces that were not originally designed to handle the size of these crowds, while maintaining that same classic guest experience that everyone comes to expect. Now, some people are of the opinion that this is a way to thin the herd a little, manage the crowds, especially pass holder crowds, and I feel that there is definitely some truth to that. So given everything said today, this is the largest price increase in the last decade, and yes, the idea of spending over $1,000 on anything at one time means you really have to give some serious thought to the value that you get out of the experience. For some people, it will definitely be too much, and like every price increase before this, people will have to opt out, not visit the park, not renew. The silver lining though is that Disney is keeping the monthly payment option so when you do go to renew your pass you can still choose to pay over the course of 12 months and you're paying at zero interest which in my opinion is a pretty good deal. Now while I know it's a lot of money to be shelling out to me it's going to be worth it. Yes I'm buying another pass and I will talk more about why personally Disney means so much to me in the next video. Thanks so much for watching today. Be sure to like and subscribe for more adventures, and you can follow me on all of my social media at M-A-T-T-Y-T-J.